In practice set two, we are evaluating multi-operation expressions using the order of operations. I will demonstrate this using a calculator TI30X2S, which is a direct algebraic logic calculator. These scientific calculators have the order of operations built in, while inexpensive basic function calculators do not. Let's try a few problems together. For problem number three, I'm going to key it in from left to right as it appears, knowing that the calculator will perform the multiplication first and the subtraction second for me. So I enter 10 minus 2 times 4. Some calculators you can skip the multiplication key and just use parentheses, but as a habit, I like to make sure to press the multiplication key even though it's not written on paper. When I press enter, I get my answer, 2. In problem number 5, I have three operations. I have multiplication, addition, and a power. Let's try this together. 4 times 3, and I used my times key even though it's not written on paper, plus 5, and I will make use of my x squared button to square that 5. When I press equals, the answer appears with the calculator having used the, cor the correct order of operations. We will try one more, number 8 with a square root. 5 plus, and on this calculator, I press the root function first and then the number. So I find that in the second function above my x squared key, you can see it printed in there, second x squared, and it shows as it should a square root of 36. And my answer is 11.